Hello friends, welcome to my channel English Notes. Today's topic of my notes is Summary of Tom Jones, written by Henry Fielding. So let's start. Summary Introduction Tom Jones is one of the earliest English novels written by Henry Fielding and was hugely popular when it was published, first published in 1749. It tells the story of the foundling Tom and his journey towards adulthood and marriage. As might be expected, this journey is a complicated one. Gentleman Allworthy, who lives with his unmarried sister Bridget Allworthy, arrives home and find a baby boy on his bed. Allworthy decides to know the mother and father of this child and finds local woman Jenny Jones and her tutor. Mr. Mr. Petridge has his parents. Allworthy sends Jenny away from the country the, and Petridge leave the country and Petri, and Petridge leave the country. Allworthy decide to bring up the boy and named him Tom Jones. Soon after Bridget marries Captain Bleefield and give birth to a son named Bleefield. Captain Bleefield does not like Tom Jones since he wishes his son to inherit all of Allworthy's possession. Captain Bleefield falls dead. The novel moves twelve years. The novel moves twelve years forward. Bleefield and Tom Jones have been brought up together, but receive different treatment from the others. Allworthy is the only person who shows love for Tom. The philosopher Square and the Reverend Fackham, the poet's tutor, hate Tom's and adore Bleefield. Tom steals apples and supports the family of Black George. One of the Allworthy servant. Tom tells all these all his Tom tells all his secrets to Bleefield, who then tells these to Thwackham or Allworthy Allworthy, thereby getting Tom into trouble. The people after hearing of Tom's generosity to Black George begin to speak kindly to uh, kindly of Tom. Tom spends much time with Squire Weston, who is Allworthy's neighbor. Sophia West Sophia Weston Square Western's daughter falls in love with Tom, but Tom loves Molly Seagrim, the poor daughter of Black George. When Molly becomes pregnant, Tom prevents Allworthy from, Allworthy from sending Molly to prison by admitting that he has feathered her child. Tom discovered that Molly has been having affairs with many other men, which means Tom is not the father of her child, and so Tom leaves Molly and expresses his love for Sophia. Allworthy falls ill and calls his family and friends to be near him. He reads out his will, which states that Bleefield will inherit most of his estate, although Tom is also provided for. Thwackham and Square are upset that they are rich. Thwackham and, Square, Thwackham and Square are upset that they are each promised only a thousand pounds. Tom experiences great emotions at Allworthy's illness and barely leaves his bedside. A lawyer named Dowling arrives and announces the sudden and unexpected death of Bridget Allworthy. When the doctor announces that Allworthy will not die, Tom rejoices. Mrs. Weston, the aunt with Mrs. Weston, the aunt with whom Sophia spent much of her youth come to stay at her brother's house. She and the US square unit over Mrs. Weston's plan to marry Sophia to believe in. Mrs. Weston promises to not to reveal Sophia's love for Tom as long as Sophia submitted to receive submits to receive receiving Bleefield as a sweater. Bleefield thus begins his courtship of Sophia and brags so much about his progress that all worthy believe, believes believes that Sophia must love Bleefield. Sophia However, opposes the proposal. Bleefield tells Allworthy that Tom is a rascal who moves drunkenly about the house, and Allworthy banishes Tom from the country. Tom does not want to leave Sophia, but decides that he must leave honorably. Tom begins to wander about the countryside. In Bristol, he happened to meet. He ha in Bristol, he happens to meet up with Patridge, who becomes his loyal servant. Tom also rescues uh, Mrs. Waters from being being robbed, and they 
Sophia and they begin an affair at a local inn. Sophia, who has run away from Square Western Estate to avoid marrying Little, stops at this inn and discovers that Tom is having an affair with Mrs. Water. She leaves her muff in Tom's bed so that he knows that his sheep has been there. When Tom finds a when Tom finds the muff, he sets out in pursuit of Sophia. The Irishman Fitzpatrick arrives at the inn searching for his wife and Winston arrives searching for Sophia. On the way to London, Sophia rides with her cousin Harriet, who is also Fitzpatrick's wife in London. Wife in London. Sophia stays with her lady relative Lady Wellaston. Tom and Patrick arrive in London soon after and they stay in the house of Mrs. Myler and her daughter. Lady Wellaston and Tom begin an affair, although Tom privately continues to pursue Sophia. When he, he and Sophia are reconciled, Tom breaks off the relationship with Lady Wellaston by sending her a marriage proposal that scares her away. Yet Lady Wellaston is Still determined not to allow Sophia and Tom's love to grow, she encourages another young man, Lord Philamer, to rape Sophia. Square Western, Square Western, Mrs. Western, Blifil, and all worthy arrives in London and Square Western locks Sophia in her bedroom. Mr. Fitzpatrick thinks Tom is, is his wife's lover and begins to fight with Tom. In defeating himself, Tom, Tom stabs Fitzpatrick with the sword and is, and is thrown into jail. Patrick visits Tom in jail with the news that Miss, Mrs. Water is Jenny, Jenny Jones. Tom's mother, Mrs. Mrs. Water, meets with Allworthy and explains that Fitzpatrick is still alive and has admitted to start the fight. Mrs. Waters reveals that Tom's mother was Bridget Alworthy. Squire sends Alworthy a letter explaining that Tom's conduct during Alworthy's illness was honorable. Tom is released from jail, and he and Alworthy are, are Tom is released from jail, and he and Alworthy are reunited as a new, as nephew and uncle. Mrs. Smiler explains to Sophia the reason for Tom's marriage proposal to Lady Bellaston, and Sophia is satisfied. Now that Tom is all worth his hair, the square western encourages the marriage between Tom and Sophia. Sophia agrees to marry Tom. They live happily with two children, and Tom forgives Blifil. Conclusion Fielding was a writer for the theatre before he was a novelist and one of the strongest impressions that the reader get from tom jones is that of dramatic handling of scene and act the sharp silhouetting of character and their grouping in such a manner as to avoid any confusions even in so popular popular a dra even in so popular a drama tom jones is rightly regarded as Fielding's great work and one of the first and most influent of english novels at the center of one of the most ingenious plot in English fiction, stand a hero who, whose actions were in 1749 as shocking as they are funny today. So, friend, this is my notes on Tom Jones, written by Henry Fielding. I hope you like it. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And friend, please press the bell icon for new video notification. Thank you.